Hey, this is Jim, and thank you for joining us again for another Broadfield Liquid Lunch and Learn. You'll see we have two guests on the show with us today. Uh, we have Chuck and Greg joining us from Simply Live. Hey, guys. Morning, Jim. How are you guys Jim. doing today? Uh, Chuck, it is just now afternoon here on the East Coast. Uh, so I point that out because we start every show with Broadfield's Liquid Lunch. I don't need my mom tuning into the show afterwards thinking I'm cracking open a beer at 9 a.m., you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this week on the show, we have a New Belgium Voodoo Ranger IPA. I was first turned on to New Belgium actually on Southwest Airlines where the Fat Tire uh, beer is one of their top selections. Uh, Voodoo Ranger is really nice, has a craft beer type taste, in the broad distribution that a lot of these craft breweries are getting through support of like Molson Coors and Anheuser-Busch and others. So cheers, guys. Cheers. And I don't know if this is just a coincidence, Jim, but New Belgium Brewery is right here in my new hometown of Fort Collins. It is not just a coincidence. It is one of the reasons why we just rifled through the fridge to see where we could find. <laughs> It was a coincidence that I had it in stock, not a coincidence that we selected it for the show now. Cheers. So guys, I would like to start, before we go into today's show, which is gonna be on Simply Live and using Simply Live products for remote production, I'd like to start by highlighting another product line from you guys, which is the MMR USB recorder and live streaming devices, which I happen to have one up in front of me here. Uh, Greg, if you could give us a little bit of an introduction for our dealers on exactly what the MMR is and how the two models are a little bit different. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you have you have the MMR 110 model there in front of you, uh, but really what, what they are are they're, they're very simple but powerful USB recorders and, and live streaming systems. So you can see they're designed for broadcast facilities and mobile units, rack mountable, rugged to be able to travel. And really what it's about is offering an, up, an updated solution for to move away from legacy devices for, you know, recording or, your, your program for distribution. So distribution could be for production director producers to be able to walk away with USB drive and then, you know, review the program uh, and make edits and things like that, you know, for, 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 for future programs. Or if you're talking about teams, could be for players, coaches, uh, referees, so the, depending on the application, that's really what it's designed to do. Uh, the two models that you have, the 110 and the 410, the 110 is a single HDSDI input, the 410 is four inputs, uh, four HDSDI inputs, you have it there and it's a 2RU, but the concept is the same. We take the HDSDI input and it can be up to 1080p, 50 or 60, and we record the, that video first to the onboard SSD for reliability, and we encode up to 10 megabits in H.264, and then we're writing off to the destination. So you see on the front of the devices there, you have 10 USB destinations. So yep. as you're recording, we can write the recording directly to up to 10 USBs, and then also you could be live streaming that program if you want, if you have an, you know, an internet connection, uh, or be able to write to an FTP or you know a network network attached storage. So again, it's about simplicity. USB, you know, moving away from still DVD recorders or things like that. And uh, you know, if you need more than ten uh, uh, USB recordings, again, because it's recorded on the SSD, you can take the SSD recording and and make more copies. That's great. And the uh, the 110 model, which is the one I have here, comes in at a 2995 MSRP. Uh, the 410, which, as you said, is the dual rack mount system, or the 2RU, I should say, with four HDSDI inputs, comes in at a 99.95 MSRP. Uh, these devices are in stock at Broadfield. And if you tune in and stay with us for the show, we're going to tell you about a promotion that we have running on these MMR devices and on the Simply Live Varsity bundles as well. So that's my little teaser. So without further ado, let me put this product off to the side because what we're going to spend a lot of time talking about today is introducing the Simply Live Varsity Bundles for remote productions. So I invited Chuck Silber and Greg Mattia on the show to join us. 
Uh, Chuck, if you could do me a favor and just quickly introduce yourself. Sure. My name is Chuck Silber. I'm the uh, Chief Revenue Officer with Simply Live. I think I'm celebrating my 10-month uh, anniversary with the company. Oh, that's great. Let's hope you made it for a year. <laughs> I hope I do, yes. <laughs> and Greg, if you could introduce yourself as well. Yes, Greg Machia, VP Sales and Operations uh, for the Americas, and uh, you know, I've been with the company, I don't know, over three years, three and a half years. So, yeah, we're... Uh, you know, fighting through through the current situation, but we're doing a lot of uh, great things, a lot of development, and, and hopefully, you know, we're going to talk about today some of the, the remote production uh, capabilities that we have, which are very, very important with, you know, for the industry now as we move forward in, in, in the new and challenging ways. Absolutely. And the thing that I really like to point out, and we've been talking to our dealers about for the last couple of weeks, is obviously the remote production is something that is a necessity for everyone at this time. But that necessity is also the mother of invention. And this is going to be a workflow that people are going to invest in and adapt even as things start opening back up and people can make their way back into the studios and the offices. You're going to see a lot of need for redundant systems, remote systems, and investments in being able to continue the productions no matter where the world leads us and our production crews. So without further ado, let's talk a little bit about Simply Live and about what you guys do as a company in this space. Yeah, so I'll take that, Jim. So um, again, we really want to talk about remote production because that's the most relevant uh, conversation uh, for today's um, production environment and for the post-COVID production environment. Uh, but I know that uh, some of you uh, may be new to Simply Live, so I thought it would be a good way to start just to give you a quick introduction to who we are uh, and what makes us different. Um, very simply, we're a company that's really focused on creating disruptive, game-changing solutions for live production. Four key things very quickly that I think differentiates us. Number one, the VBOX Varsity bundles that we'll be talking about today, uh, they are a complete turnkey hardware solution, but at our core, we are a software company. That's what we do. And we're a, we're a next generation uh, software defined architecture that is really future proofed and natively designed to support all of today's and tomorrow's video formats. And because we're a software company, we not only support today's formats, but we're very intrinsically migratable uh, to the IP and cloud universe. So uh, just to touch upon remote, the VBOX from its inception was designed specifically to enable remote production. So we've been doing that since the beginning. Uh, one other quick thing about the company, um, even though a relatively new company, we've been around three and a half years, we have a significant amount of experience in the live uh, broadcast production uh, field, uh, most specifically in sports production, the founders of the company uh, come out of EDS. Um, and uh, we're very agile in doing a tremendous amount of development and responding to the needs of the market. Um, if you saw that next slide that, uh, that Jim put up, even though we're a relatively new company, we have a, a long list of uh, very prominent uh, broadcasters all around the world that are using VBOX on a daily basis. Uh, here in the U.S., ESPN has been a huge advocate of um, Simply Live and the VBOX technology and has been an early adopter and has continued to expand their deployment of VBOX uh, for all of their productions. Uh, relevant to today's environment, they're doing two at-home productions, uh, literally, where the operator of the VBOX is in their living room with our touchscreen UI, while the server is at one of their remote facilities and the on-air talent is located in a completely different location. And they deployed that workflow very, very quickly. And they're now doing uh, two of their network shows completely on VBOX, uh, both the jump and around the horn, which is part of Sports Center. Uh, one of my favorite we, shows too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you go on to the next slide, ESPN uh, has used us extensively. Uh, last year, they used us for their coverage of the US Open Tennis Tournament. 
Um, and they actually won a technical Emmy Award for that coverage, and they were kind enough to share an honorary statuette with us uh, because they said they couldn't have done it without uh, Simply Live. So we're, we're very excited about our relationship of, with ESPN, and uh, Greg will talk to you a little bit more about specifically how they're using it for remote production and how that workflow could benefit your customers' productions as we get in uh, to the post-COVID world. And Chuck, so, I'll tell you, what I loved about that last slide with all those different logos and broadcasters there is I recognize a lot of those logos as guys that our dealers do business with and call on on a day-to-day -day basis. So there's a lot of opportunity, which was one of the reasons why we were excited in doing business with you and with Simply Live. Absolutely, and one of the other things I'll touch upon is the scalability of our VBOX product. Uh, so that's what we're talking about. VBOX um, is, is our platform. We describe it as multi-camera production reimagined. Um, and if you move on to the next slide, you really think about VBOX, it's a suite of software tools that are all designed to allow um, your customers the flexibility to do, to do all different types of high quality live sports productions, okay? And one of the key foundations to the way we're designed is all around ease of use and collaboration. So we're predominantly touchscreen based. So our UI was designed with the goal of taking the technology out of the way. So you kind of imagine um, as a storyteller, someone who's telling you know the story of a sporting event, you see the event unfolding on your touch screen and you're simply touching on the different icons and you're switching the cameras to those different video elements. So basically what you see is what you get. And the goal was to put about 85 to 90% of all of the key uh, tools that you need to do a professional broadcast sports production right at your fingertips. And it was designed around telling that sports production story. And Chuck, I think that lends itself to what you were saying earlier in Simply Live being a software company, even though we have this giant hardware in front of us, it's really the difference of what you're doing is focusing on the software, the tools necessary, and the user interface in order to make all of that work quickly and easily in a real world production environment. Yep, that's correct. And also being software driven, it allows us to adapt to the changing needs of the market, to add new features and functionality very, very quickly. And because we're not tied to any proprietary piece of hardware, it's very easy to stay current and up to date with the latest features and functionality as well too. And, and I can tell you just in using our own eval system, the Simply Live eVouch really is very easy to set up and use. Um, I know when we had first done into a relationship with you, we previously had Greg as a guest on our show doing a live demo and showing that interface. So after our show today, I'm going to link back to that previous video where we can give that detailed demo over again and let our dealers know that we also have a demo program available if they would like to get their hands on the units themselves and obviously we would encourage them to do so. Absolutely. Absolutely. So as I mentioned, you know, we're built on a modern software defined architecture. And there's three key things that we do on our single platform, right? Um, sports broadcast, that's really, you know, what our sweet spot is that comes from our, our lineage, our DNA um, uh, of coming out of, uh, you know, EBS and other companies in the broadcast world. Uh, what's really unique about us as well too is our same platform also supports a video review, a refer referee review and coach analysis software interface as well too that you can run concurrently as you're doing your broadcast production or your broadcast replay uh, using that same content. So when you're looking at a system like our Varsity Bundle, uh, it, gives, it gives the user a tremendous amount of flexibility to use that same system in a number of different ways. So whether it's a, a Division II college or, or a high school with a large sports program where they may not have thought about using content for referee review or coach analysis because a purpose-built system for doing that may be a bit expensive, you have that additional capability built right into the VBOX platform, which again creates all a, 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 a huge amount of flexibility. And even though we're really designed for sports because we have the integration of both live production and replay, 
uh, either separately as two separate applications working collaboratively or in, a com in, in an all-in-one interface where a single operator uh, can do the complete production, including, uh, including replays. Um, uh, you know, we also are very well suited for live studio production as well, too. It doesn't have to be sports. So the example with ESPN with the jump and around the horn, it's sports content, but it's not a sporting event. Right. Uh, but they're right. using it to do that switch, and that's because it's extremely easy to use. And even on their major sports productions that they used VBOX, they've had the producers actually take an hour of training, and they were actually doing the replay and the live production. Uh, and the same thing with around the horn and the jump. So ease of use is another key element that even the largest broadcasters are drawn uh, to VBOX because it gives them flexibility on who they have operate the system. Absolutely. When you start with the ease of use, it lends itself to flexibility because you have more people that want to get their hands on the box to use it for whatever application they're using it for. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, one last thing here to set the stage, and we'll, uh, I'll turn it over to Greg and uh, have him talk about uh, remote production again, which is really ve relevant to uh, today's production world. Keep in mind, as you're thinking about VBOX, we have a common software back end, okay, yes. that all of our different software applications run on that back end. And in this instance, that back end will be running on that, that mini server that you have on your desk right in front of you. And we have four different software applications that you can run uh, either separately or depending on the platform, they can be run concurrently and can expand to multiple users. Uh, but all of it comes from the same software architecture, right? It's that common software architecture. And our, our UI actually runs separately from the back end. And that's one of the key design elements that really enables our ability to do remote production, okay? And with that, I'll turn it over to Greg, and he can get into some more detail on that. Ah. Greg, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah, one of the things, uh, so, so you know, as, as we get into that, I mean, one of some of the last points we're talking about is the scalability. So, you know, we had the diagram before, which showed you the, the, the different applications that we, we run. So uh, part of that is the hardware that we have will also, you know, des design the system that you want. So we can start with the mini that you have there is designed for all in one for a single operator. So doing the full show, the cutting replays, if you want, insertion of graphics, audio mixing. So that can be done from a single operator or we can scale. If you go to the next slide, uh, we show going with uh, with the different hardware. Uh, if you go to a 4RU server, then we can go to multiple users. So there, those multiple users can be for your live production where we break out and we add some replay operators and they're all feeding into the you know, TD director position uh, with your audio mixing and your graphics and you can scale up to as, as large as a 12 camera production. Or that could also be multiple users running diff different applications. So two users could be doing your live production and a third user could be added to do the referee review. And then when you look at scalability, uh, if we look at replay, for example, we've designed our system to be able to network and build a large uh, replay network infrastructure. So there you could get up to as many as 60 inputs and have many users across a replay network to be able to share content, do replays, create uh, um, uh, highlight packages for, for your live production. That's and then last slide, when we look at scalability, multiple users would be for a centralized uh, referee review system. So, you know, you could have your different venues, uh, different setups at those venues for review, and then all of that could be coming back to central locations where, you know, you would have your, your referees or your officials making decisions depending on where, uh, you know, uh, review uh, requirements took place at, at live events. That's amazing. That's a really powerful, scalable system. I really like that. Yeah, again, and it's the scalability because it could be simple. Like you could take the mini that you have there, very portable, bring it to a venue, set it up, have a four or an eight camera system and do official review. The official directly there sitting with the system or we can get to a much more complicated setup as you saw in that drawing to show many venues, many cameras, uh, different operators working at, you know, at different um, uh, in different positions, you know, being able to control multiple angles, being able to work with other people and, and, and pass angles you know, from, from eight angles to four to two, which we show in, in, in the demos. So it's a very powerful system in that way. 
Absolutely, and powerful and flexible. And that's really one of the things that we wanted to talk about and the reason I invited you on the show today, Greg. Uh, right now, there's not a lot of sports being played and being produced, but the VBOX systems also lend themselves really well into a remote production workflow. And you actually have some interesting case studies to share with us right along those lines. So let's get into that remote workflow capability with the VBOX. Exactly. So, so as when, when we designed from the beginning, we designed the system looking forward and, and, and really being able to be designed future proof. When we talk about that, it's for these scenarios for, for remote production. So we always designed the thinking we want to be able to have either the hardware or the people at site, uh, remotely located at, at, at the broadcast center at home or potentially in the cloud as far as the hardware goes. So we've designed it that way. Um, so We've had that, and now, you know, with, this, with the situation we have now, remote production has become even more important. So why? Because now it's about safety. We never had to really think, well, you always talk about safety, but now because of the virus, you know, it's having less people on site, uh, you know, so less people. But our system is designed to have less people doing a production. So, you know, before where you typically might have a larger production crew, now with our system, you could have much less people, but still not uh, compromising on the quality because one big difference with about our system and others and, and, and why an, an ESPN, for example, came to us to do these shows is because of the quality. They don't feel that they're sacrificing quality. They feel confident that they can put our system on their linear channels and the quality of the look is not jeopardized in using our system. Uh, so again, you reduce travel costs when you don't have people going on site, uh, you know, re increasing productivity because of the way that our system is designed. We look at a production, we've tried to put automation and simplification for the operator to be able to have that high quality show. And again, the quality. For us, it was very important to make the quality very good and to the point where you're watching a production coming from a traditional truck, many users, a lot of hardware, and our system, the quality of what you're seeing is not going to be jeopardized, and that's very important for us. And no, and I think that's important for the broadcast industry as a whole. The last thing we want to do right now is get our audience familiar with or accepting a lower quality production. We want to be able to maintain that production quality no matter where that production has to be driven from. So, Greg, what makes the VBOX remote production unique to some of the other solutions out there? So, yeah, as, as we've been talking about it, and Chuck mentioned, you know, because we're software, uh, software architecture and, and, and the way we've designed it, you have your, your you, you have independence between the, the back end, whether it's running on hardware or eventually in the cloud and the UI that the operator is using. So we've using. So we've designed it from the beginning that the operator doesn't have to be attached to that piece of hardware locally, let's say in a truck. So if you look at a college campus, for example, the hard work could be at the venue and I as an operator because my UI connects over you know, a LAN, for example, to that back end. I could be somewhere else on campus and be able to drive that, that system that is elsewhere. Uh, we talk about redundant operations. So, for example, again, because we have multi-user capabilities or the simplicity to connect to that server, if something happens with my UI, for example, I can have redundancy where I can have another unit or another operator quickly connect to the backend server and, and be able to continue the production or having multiple users to do those functions. Uh, extremely small footprint. So, yeah, we're talking about, you know, when we talk about at-home productions, a lot of people are talking about at-home, but then, you know, you might see a picture of, you know, a living room full of all this equipment, and, and a lot of people aren't able to do that. So, for us, with our UI, you're literally talking about a PC and a touch screen, and from that, because of the way we've designed it and all the video and capabilities that you need are within that touch screen, you really can work on a tabletop and be able to do a high-level production. And then with the UI gateway, which I'll talk about a little bit, that piece added in there really allows an at home because now we've, we've allowed bandwidth to be as low as five megabits per second. We will probably run more around 20, but really being able to work from home with a home internet connection. And Greg, I have to tell you, I think the touchscreen is really a great move. Uh, we're seeing the touchscreen really ease that ease of use or, and the graphic user interface on a touchscreen makes things a lot easier. But it's also generational. As you're starting to get these younger producers come in and being expected to drive the show, 
they're used to working on these touchscreen devices and being able to have as many controls as they need right there in front of them. So I think that really is a great advantage of the Simply Live systems. Yeah, absolutely. You know, most of the times when we talk about what we're doing, that you know, the, the, the producer or director that, that comes has never seen our system before. They have not seen the system and they get in front of it. You know, they might spend an hour. We give them a very quick training. And within that an hour or two, they're actually putting content on air. So, sure, with, with, uh, with time, they get better and better. But most of the time, they have not seen our system. We give them a brief overview, and they're able to, to, to produce very good content with our system. And that's very, very important. That's great. And here we have an example of the remote user on the same LAN as the backend server. Yeah, so our system was designed this way from the beginning. So again, you have the user interface, and, and in this example, we're showing you know, an Intel Nook, a very small form factor, which is running the UI. So the UI the operator sees in front of them, and that gets connected to the back end. So in a LAN setup, you can run this and be remotely located. But in that, in that scenario, you're going to need about 125 megabits per second. So doing that on a, an at-home type of setup is not ideal because you might not have the connectivity. But again, it's showing the fact that from the beginning, we've de been designed to do that. So now if we go to the next slide, the UI Gateway, which is a product we just released, this really gets put in place with the back-end server. And the big difference is that we are taking the, the video, essentially, that's being presented to the operator on their UI, and we're creating a much lower... Uh, a very low latency, lower bit rate connection. So now that 125 comes down to say 20 megabits per second. So I, I, most people are gonna have that connectivity at home and now I'm able to do that at home. So now I have a PC that I can set up that connects to the, to, to the UI gateway and the server, which might be in a broadcast center and I'm able to do, you know, do the production. And these are the types of, uh, you know, this is the setup that, that we have with ESPN at the moment. That's great. And then yeah, here so, you so now, set up with multiple users. Yes, correct. So, so this, this gets a, a little bit more of a technical drawing, but it's showing the idea. So at your production center, broadcast center, perhaps this could be a, mo a smaller mobile truck that's on site. You have all of your hardware. So that will be our server, the UI gateway. Uh, you might have so, you know, a NAS storage for content that you want to export or import in. You can have your audio mixer and then probably your NDI graphics engine. So those could all be located you know, together at the facility and then remotely connected. You could have multiple users at home doing the different roles that they have. So two of these users here, for example, are our VBOX users. One would be sort of the TD director, the other replay. And then, for example, the, the graphics operator would be remotely located triggering the, the NDI graphics that would be able to be keyed into our system. One other important part that the UI Gateway does is it also provides a multi-viewer output for these users. So again, at home, being able to see the sources, or perhaps there's another producer elsewhere from these, let's say, three, three positions, but they want to see the content, we can provide an output, a web browser output, from the UI gateway to be able to do that, including audio. So it's a very important component of, of this type of setup. And you don't have comms here and other things, but certainly the, there are other great solutions out there that you can incorporate into the system and really have a powerful at-home production. Yeah, and I, I'm guessing that you could have designed this slide 25 different times with hundreds of different permeables and variations. And again, I think that's the perfect illustration of the flexibility that these systems offer. Yes, absolutely. So again, that piece of hardware there could be a mini, can be a for you, can be multiple channels, multiple users, single users. So, so that's really the flexibility in, in, in the system and the architecture. And that's great. And really what lends itself to all of this remote production capability, whether it's broadcast, whether it's sports, whether it's live in-studio productions, all of this can be done and it all starts with the Simply Live Varsity Sports Bundles, which are available here at Broadfield Distributed. The Varsity Sports Bundle is available in a few different configurations. The first one and the most popular one that we offer is the AIO. AIO stands for All-in-One. This is the All-in-One solution at $28,995 MSRP and is a great solution for all of these different production environments. Next is the Slow-Mo Varsity Bundle at $24,995 MSRP 
Greg, if you could just give us a little bit of an overview on the differences between the AIEO bundle, this slow-mo bundle, and the last version here, which is the RefBox Varsity bundles, I know that's the pitch that would really help our dealers present this to their customers. Yeah, so, so what's important, when you talk about the, the Varsity bundles and the Mini, it can run all of these applications. The key is it's a single user, single application at a time. So when we talk about all-in-one, it, it, it's just that you can cut your, you're doing the full show from the system. So cutting your live cameras, doing replays, being able to key your NDI graphics, uh, work, you know, uh, trigger snapshots from an external audio mixer that you're using. So it's really an all-in-one, just like it says uh, with that application. Because we have slow motion capability, when you talk about slow-mo, you might have another production on another day where you might be using a traditional switcher, but you want to be able to add our replay capability so you can run it just as a replay system. So it could be a uh, six-in, two-out replay system. Uh, that, that can be used again for, for just slow motion. And that includes being able to record multi-frame rate, multi rate slow motion cameras. Uh, and then the ref box. Ref is again for official review or coaching where the UI is designed for analysis. So, you know, you have a scenario for basketball, you have, you know, re review capability. So this system can be used in that way to be able to do review. That's great. And what we did here at Broadfield is we actually put together an exclusive promotion. Oliver, do me a favor, let's bring Chuck back up for a moment. <clears throat> Chuck, I wanna thank you for working with us last minute this morning on putting together this special offer for Broadfield dealers. This is a Broadfield exclusive. Chuck, do you wanna pitch the program? No, you go ahead and do it. All right, let's do it. Uh, basically, any of the Varsity bundles that we just spoke about, the all-in-one, the slow-mo, or the ref box, uh, purchased be before June 15th, and you will get a $500 dealer spiff. That spiff will be in an American Express gift card that you can do with it as you choose. You can pass that over to your customer. You can give it to your salesperson that closed the deal. You can go take your wife out to a nice dinner on Simply Live. Whatever you decide to do with that spiff, this is available on all of these Varsity bundles now through June 15th. If you sell one of these MMRs that we talked about at the beginning of the show, we are not going to leave that product alone and we are gonna put a $100 spiff on every MMR. So that's on the MMR 110s or 410s, a $100 American Express gift card with every sale from Broadfield now through June 15th. So guys, thank you very much for joining us on the show. And Chuck, a very special thank you for helping us put that promo together. If our dealers have any questions, you can of course always reach out to your Broadfield sales team at 800-634-5178, or you can reach out to Simply Live directly and Oliver, if we could pull up Chuck's information full screen, it is c.silver at simplylive.tv. Uh, Chuck, you're a great resource for all of our dealers, and I know for our guys that need that technical background and technical information, that Greg is always available as well. I know we've leaned on Greg a couple of times, and I will reiterate again, uh, Greg, if you remember when we did that really nice intro demo and walkthrough, I'm going to link to those videos as well. So we have a lot of great stuff available for our dealers. Guys, thank you again for joining us. Great show today. Thanks for having us. Thank Good you very on. much. Appreciate it. Everybody ha stay safe. Yes, you as well. So we have some great shows planned. We're so excited and stoked to be back in the studio here that we've got Panasonic joining us next week to talk about a bunch of new products. And then the following week, I'm gonna have Matt Benyon from G Technology talking to us about the new G Tech G Speed shuttles and the product line changes that they've made with the shuttles uh, for storage and production capabilities. If you have any questions on any of the products we talked about today, or you're interested in becoming a Simply Live dealer, call your Broadfield sales team at 800-634-5178. Until next week, cheers.
Broadfield Distributing is a value-added distributor of live production, streaming, video editing, and storage products. We only sell to resellers. We are always looking for new dealers. So call us at 1-800-634-5178 or email sales at broadfield.com. You'll like doing business with Broadfield because we make it easy to do business.